hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create this custom designed bottom tab navigator in react native so as you can see this is our bottom tab navigator and here we have different tabs by clicking on different tabs we are presented with different screens and in this tutorial i am not going to design any screen so we don't have anything in our screen other than this text and this button so we have these tabs and at the middle we have this big circular button for another tab so after clicking on this button we will be presented with another screen so this is what we are going to build today in this tutorial and this bottom tab navigator will be implemented with react navigation version 5 and i have a dedicated tutorial playlist for react navigation version 5 so if you are new to my channel or if you haven't seen all those yet then you can definitely check that out i will provide that playlist link in the description below or you can check that playlist from the i icon of this video so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial okay so this is a basic react native cli project which is created by npx react native init command and here in this project i have added few files as you can see i have created this assets directory and within assets directory i have created icons and within icons directory i have provided all these icons which i will use for our bottom tabs after this assets we have this navigation directory within this navigation directory i have created this tabs.js file which is currently blank in this file i will create the tab navigator and within the screens directory i have few screens which will be screens of those respective tabs so here are those screens and all screens are similar nothing fancy over there in these screens i have just provided a text and the button so that we can distinguish between each screens other than that i haven't provided anything in these screens so this is what my project structure looks like right now and we will work on this tabs js and after that i will update this app.js file and in our project i have already installed react navigation and react navigation bottom tabs and if you want to know more about the installation of react navigation version 5 then you can check the first tutorial of the react navigation version 5 tutorial playlist which i have described a minute ago so now within this tab screen we need to create the bottom tabs and for the bottom tab we need to import create bottom tab navigator from react navigation bottom tabs so i have copied it and then i can create this tabs component and here we can return the component and before this component i need to create a constant called tab and it will be create bottom tab navigator now here we can use this tab now within this tab dot navigator we can provide different tab screens for each screen we need to provide a name and first tab name will be home then we need to define the component and here we will provide this screens component so here i will provide home screen and to use that home screen we need to import home screen from our screens directory now let me quickly import all those screens now let's create those tabs so i have copied this tab screen few more times and after this home screen here it will be find screen then at the middle we will use post screen then it will be setting screen and at last we will use chat screen and to use it as a component we need to export it now save it now after that let's get rid all of this from our app.js file now within this return we have to use an import from react navigation native package and that import is navigation container now first provide this navigation container and within this navigation container we can provide these tabs now save it 
now after that we can see that our bottom tabs are present and here we can navigate to different screens right and currently we can only see the text for those tabs because i haven't provided any icons yet for these tabs now we will start customizing it so now within this tab navigator we can provide the tab bar options and here for the tab bar option first i will provide show level as false so now we cannot see those text here and i have removed it because i want to customize it and after this let's provide some styles for it first i will provide position absolute then for the bottom i will provide 25 pixel and then for left and right i will provide 20 for elevation i will provide zero for background color i will provide white color for border radius i will provide 15 pixel and for the height of it i will provide 90 now after saving it we can see that our navigator section has been positioned like this so it gives a floating look to our bottom tabs now after that i will focus into tab screens but before that i want to provide a shadow to this tab navigator box for that let's create a const called style and it will be style sheet and here i will create a style called shadow and we need to import this style sheet from react native now along with this style sheet we will require text view image and touchable opacity so i have imported all these apis from react native now i can use this style sheet now for this shadow style i will provide shadow color and for the color of it i will provide this color then for the shadow offset i will use width 0 for the height of the shadow offset i will provide 10 then for the shadow opacity i will provide 0 0.25 value and for the shadow radius i will provide 3.5 and at last let's provide elevation 5 now this elevation will work for android and all these values will work for ios now we can use this style here by destructuring our styles and then by providing this shadow now let's save it now after saving it we can see a shadow is visible here and by this our box is having a proper floating look right now let's implement our tab screens now for the tab screens we can provide options and for the option of it i will provide tab bar icon now here we can customize our icon component so for this tab bar icon first i want to provide a view and within this view i want to provide an image and after this image i want to provide a text so the text will be the text of the tab bar which is the name of it so here it will be home for the image of it i will use icon image from our assets directory so it will be within assets then navigate to icons directory and within icons directory we have home.png then for this image resize mode we will use contain for the style of it let's provide a width of 25 pixel and same for the height as well and for the tint color let's provide a color but provide that color based upon the focus state if that tab has been focused then we will use this color otherwise we will use this color now provide similar thing for our text style as well now here for the style for the color we can provide this styles and for the font size of the text i will provide 12 now for this view style let's provide align items center justify content to center as well and then for the top i will provide 10 pixel value now save it now after saving it we can see that our home tab is present properly actually it's already present there but visually we are seeing it otherwise we have different tabs as well as we can click and our screen is getting changed
right so the tab is there but we are not showing anything for the home tab we are displaying this home icon and the text now let's copy this tab bar icon options for other tab screens as well so here it will be find i am leaving this center tab screen because we will have different kind of styles for it so after that it will be settings and then it will be chat similarly we need to change the icon image as well so it is the chat.png for settings we have settings.png for the find we have search.png now save it after that we can see that it's showing perfectly and working perfectly as well now we need to design this post tab and for that i will create a custom component here and it will be custom tab bar button and for this button we will accept some props and first we will accept the children and then we will accept on press now i will wrap it with touchable opacity because it will be a button so we can create a custom button by using touchable opacity and within this touchable opacity we will provide a view and within this view we will provide this children prop and for this touchable opacity on press we will provide this on press prop now for the style of this touchable opacity i will provide top minus 30 pixel justify content to center align items center as well and then i will provide a shadow similar to this box shadow so we can destructure these styles and then shadow style and now for this view i can provide width 70 height 70 as well for border radius i will use 35 which is 50 percent of the width and height then for the background color of it i will use this color so our custom tab bar button component has been created now we need to use it in our post tab screen and to use it we need to provide options here and for the options we need to provide tab icon similar to these tabs here the difference will be i will only provide the image not the text so it will be focused then the image and for the image source we need to provide the image path and here i will use plus.png and similarly the resize mode will be contained for the style of it i will provide a larger height and width i will provide 30 for both of these for the tint color of it i will provide white color now after this tab bar icon we can provide tab bar button and here we will provide our custom button component so for this button we will have some props and i will pass it to our custom button component so we have this custom tab bar button and let's provide the props now save it after saving it we can see that our custom button is showing perfectly right so we can click over here and we are presented with our post screen so all our custom tab bars are working fine so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and you can share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye